Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at something oddly specific. Let me give you an example. You're playing Red Dead Redemption 1 on your Xbox 360. You find this abandoned mansion and you decide to walk in. You hear weird footsteps, you hear people talking in the walls. This is an example of a scary moment in a non-horror game. So sit back and relax as I dive into some examples and uh, leave your examples in the comments. I'm really curious to hear. So this whole entire subcategory is just gonna be Rockstar games. I don't know what their issue is, but they just love to put creepy shit in their game when they we don't they don't have to do that. It's one of the main reasons actually why I love Rockstar games. In Red Dead 2, there is a heap ton of scary things in that game. You know what? There's so many scary things in Red Dead 2. Let's just let's just call it a horror game. Let's just call it what it is. But we're just gonna get into some specifics for this video. The first specific is what I talked about in the intro, the Haunted Mansion. So I remember being a kid and there was a shootout at this mansion, I'm pretty sure, in one of the missions. And after this mission, I knew there was something off-putting about this mansion. It was so quiet, you could hear people talking even though nobody was there anymore. And there was just this really eerie vibe with it. So after thinking this, I decided to explore the possibility that maybe other people have thought this as well, so I looked it up on YouTube. And that's where I found my obsession for the next two months. I would watch so many investigation videos on this haunted mansion in Red Dead. Late at night, on my iPod Touch 4th generation, just watching these videos all night. I would follow along in the comments, like if someone would find something new that no one else- And it was so, it was all bullshit, dude. Like someone was like, yeah, I saw like a little girl sitting in the corner and then she, she disappeared into a cloud of smoke. And I, I ate that up. I ate that stuff up. I would investigate it all the time. I would go in multiplayer and try to investigate it with my friends. It was a good time. But yeah, it just turned out that there were some NPCs stuck in the walls of the building and that was really it. Next one is GTA 4. So GTA 4 does have a lot of creepy things in it as well. So the first thing I can think of is the Statue of Liberty, how it actually had a heartbeat. It was like a little Easter egg, but it was really creepy. And then the other one was the infamous Rat Man. So the Rat Man was thought to be a rat part man living inside the subway of Red Dead. Red Dead? Nice. Living inside the subway of Liberty City. Um, just like basically everything else, this just turned out to just be like bullshit. But I, I love these things. I also investigated for Ratman. It was just a homeless dude that was down there. There was like a video that someone released that was so clearly fake and not real. Also in Red Dead, there was like this thing about a horse lady. It was just a glitch of some dude who was riding a horse that just turned out to have like a lady skin on it or something. But people took that in such a far direction that they were like, yeah, that's a demon, bro. But yeah, the GTA 4 rat, man, it's not real. Um, it's just, it's just a fun little creepypasta within GTA 4. And then the most infamous, and when I tell you infamous, I mean everyone knows this. That Bigfoot inside of San Andreas. I'm almost certain that it came out that there actually literally was no Bigfoot at all in San Andreas, but for some reason, I don't believe it. To this day, call me a Bigfooter, I believe he's still somewhere in that game. The only things on YouTube are just like the fake videos with the old X-Files theme song on it that I, I would play for you. It's an absolute banger, but I will get copyrighted into the dirt. This one is an all-time favorite of mine. All the old San Andreas clips, oh my gosh. It is so nostalgic looking back at like the fraps footage or like, and just like the really bad capture card footage. I loved every second of it. To me, that was the peak of content on YouTube at the time. It's crazy how far we fall in. Like you have to make a Mr. Beast level video these days, but back in the day, you put Bigfoot and San Andreas in the title, your video gets a million views. There are a lot of other things in Rockstar games that I can't, maybe I could do a whole video on this, but this will take up the whole entire thing, so we're gonna move on, but I know Bully had some creepy things in it as well, and I loved watching those videos, but if you know any more, please leave a comment because I will go research that. Now we are moving on to Mortal Kombat 9. So I jumped off the Mortal Kombat bandwagon around like, Mortal Kombat versus DC. I was an old school Mortal Kombat player. I used to play, uh, I think it was called Alliance on the GameCube all the time and I sucked at it and I can never do the fatalities. And yeah, that's why I don't really play them anymore. No one really cares what I have to say. So we're just gonna move on. So in Mortal Kombat 9, there was this place called the Crypt. You could go here and buy skins and cosmetics for your character, unlock different things. But for some reason, for some reason, these developers put a jump scare in there. I don't know why they did that, to be honest. That's like low-key messed up. 
That's not cool. I think my brother might have got jump scared by this, but I'm not 100% sure. I think that's just like a fleeting memory of some someone else, a past life maybe. But you're just walking around the crypt and then all of a sudden, this dude just jumps out. It's so cheap, but you know what? I love it. I am so happy they did this because it makes my heart happy. It also hurts it, but it also makes it smile, so it's okay. Yeah, that's basically it for this one. I know a lot of people, when I put the thumbnail picture on my community page, I know a lot of people were saying the MK9 Crypt jump scare like changed the trajectory of their life. So I had to make sure I added this to the video. This one is a pretty famous one right here. So Arkham Knight is an awesome game. I'm gonna add a little bit of substance to my dialogue and tell you why I loved Arkham Knight so much. Besides the like Batmobile thing, which honestly I didn't really mind that much. The main part about Arkham Knight that I love so much is like the physics. There are so many just like ahead of their time physics in this game. If you drive the Batmobile into the side of a building, like you will rip that building up. And the way like everything interacts with each other, like once again, the physics, even the rain physics, like it's, it makes it so much, it's almost like the Half-Life 2 thing. Cause when you play Half-Life 2 and every single thing has its own physics, you really feel like you're there in that place. It's just grounding you into the world more, and I don't know why I'm talking about this anymore. Okay, I'll move on. Anyway, there's like a random chance, I'm pretty sure, that if you grapple up to a building, um, a bat will just, a big ass mutated bat will just jump out and scream in your face. Why this happens, I have no idea, but it's funny. <laughs> I love when games add these little touches to them. I don't know what developers are doing these days, probably making Suicide Squad, but I feel like these little touches just aren't there anymore. Like I can't think of a game that has done this recently from a AAA developer. There probably is and people are just gonna like shit on me in the comments, but I can't think of any. So that's it for this one. This is this is a great scare. If this happened to you, please let me know because I would love to hear your story. I don't know why I said that like you're like a survivor of some sort, like let me hear your story, but please do tell in the comments. Now we are moving on to numero uno. So a little bit of background information. So the first thing that ever made my YouTube account even think about getting near 100,000 subs was this little thing called submechanophobia. Basically, I'm terrified of things in the water. That is like my shtick. I'm terrified of the ocean. I'm terrified of things in the water. That's just me. And what game does that the best? Subnautica. There is an enemy in Subnautica that'll shiver your feet to the tip of your nose. And it is known as the Leviathan. He lurks in the depths. He's big as hell. Oh my god, he's huge. And I did a live stream on this game probably about two or three years ago, and I encountered this guy. And me having some mechanophobia, that was like a full-blown panic attack. This is a really big one. A lot of people talk about this from the curation I've done for this video. Tons of people are terrified of this thing and it completely makes sense. It comes out of nowhere, it's super huge, absolutely terrifying, in the depths of the ocean, just forget about it. But yeah, that's all I have for this video, thank you so much. I was gonna say thank you so much for the support on the last video, but it flopped, so. <laughs> um, thank you to the people who did support it, how about we word it like that? I definitely didn't spend a week watching all these horrible Bunny Man movies and then editing it for the next like three or four days, but it's, it's fine. But thank you so much for getting me to 100,000 subs. I would like to make my own video uh, talking about this and how much this really means to me. So I will probably do that in the future. And um, yeah, more videos to come. I will not let this slow down. I will feed you boys. Good. All right. Have a great day, great night, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.